Hey guys, 8 Reed here, and we're about to react to a very graphical video called Sky Burial. Now, you might be wondering, hey 8 Reed, where's the video? Um, I just, all I see is a picture of the thumbnail that I just clicked on. Well, uh, like I just said, it's a very graphical video. Um, how do I say this? Um, well, let me explain to you what Sky Burial means. Um, so here's the gig though, everyone knows how burials are usually performed in, I guess, in the western world. If someone dies, they are um, either, like, based on some selections, um, incremented or placed into a coffin and then buried to the ground and placed in the cemetery, right? Well, Sky Burial, on the other hand, um, tries to do, take burial in a different approach. So instead of going with the... Um, oh, we're gonna, well, instead, instead of, you know, um, how do I explain this, um, instead of, um, in, in Egypt, instead of mummifying you and then placing you, I guess, in the pyramid, instead of placing you in this, um, in a, how do I say this, la, 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 um, coffin, um, and placing you in a cemetery, um, that's another, um, form and all, Sky Burial basically, um, does this way where, your um your your corpse um your corpse which has already been um, dead for quite a while is placed into the mountains and then um naturally let the birds vultures the pictures that you're seeing right now these very birds um will eat your body up and you know and fly away that's basically what it means sky burial the birds will um consume your corpses. And then that's how your corpse ends. There, that's it. Um, while like the thing is, I was already I've already been aware of this for you know uh, quite a bit of a while. But now I'm curious enough to say, you know what? Let's go check it out as to how the process works. And just to let you know, there is some tourist. Um. Yeah, there is actually a tourism site for this, so yes, it is. It does attract tourists, and it kind of they kind of get money from that as well. So that's another thing. Also, um, how does it is um, it isn't something where it is. It isn't trying to aim for it to be gorish. Just to let you know, this is their culture, and this is how they want to do it. The reason why they want to do it like this is because. Compared um, from the Western sense of burying and compared to their um, sense of burying, they say that trying to occupy, like, it, it, that basically means um, trying to occupy sp space uh, and all that stuff, kind of, it, it, like, in our way of, you know, um, burying and stuff like that, kind of, um, you know, occupy space. And in their sense, like, okay. I'm gonna have to say it like this. I'm gonna have to say it like this. Um, right now I'm thinking of okay. If I die, how do I want to be buried? Now my first assumption was, oh I don't know, put me in a pink coffin with balloons and confetti and all that stuff. But then I started thinking to myself, huh? I I just can't imagine the fact that my body is just gonna be inside a box, just rotting away in the box and just buried in the ground and like I just I just can't imagine it like it just feels so oh I don't know like I just can't imagine like I, I'm, I'm sorry like, I'm not saying that um that type of burial is bad no um it is literally based on people's cultures and beliefs so I can so I cannot say that which one is right or wrong everyone has their perspective and and the video I'm about to watch here um, took that perspective, and and they believe that this type of burial, while yes, the body is no longer there, uh, in in in, it kind of you know helps um um some of in the environment in itself. Um, how do I say this? Um, your your organic uh, your organic materials is being recycled into in the ecosystem. And that's what they like to do. They want to have the sense of, you know, they want to have the sense there knowing that 
you are being recycled um, in the ecosystem, um, you know, not breaking it apart and stuff like that. I don't know, that, that seems like noble in what they're going with here. But obviously, um, the own, but obviously um, to make uh, you know, the ceremony quicker, they have to cut up um, bits of the body to smaller parts. Um, they're not like, but the, um, they're not doing it in a way where they chop, they like they chop like merciless, mercilessly and just throw body parts all over the place. No, they um, chop off the bodies with respect. Um, you know, um, just cleanly cut um, parts that is hard to you know to chew for the birds. So to make for them to be able to eat it quicker and stuff, they just want to get this. Um, they wanted to make this. Um, how do I say this? A quick and easy for the birds to eat and not choke the birds with parts that might be too big for them. So that's that's why there has to be some cuttings in this part. But other than that, that's what they pick. I respect um the culture that they went with, and now I'm gonna see it for myself. You won't be able to see it because it's graphic, so I cannot show that video in YouTube. But you will be able to hear it. You will be hearing it. I'm not. If this is too much for you, you, you can turn off the video now and just forget about it. But other than that, I'm here to see it for myself. Okay then. Um, reacting. Sorry for that long explanation. You know, just in case some people didn't know what I didn't know what this is about. I am gonna age restrict this though. Just for the for that purpose, I am gonna age restrict it. Even though you won't be seeing anything. Just knowing that idea could be, you know, too much. Okay then. Anyways, here we go. Three to one. Some language, language, language that I do not understand. I, no, seriously. I think this is Spanish or. Okay. I think it's it sounds too low. Let me increase the beat, the volume. I have no idea what this guy is saying, but from what I can tell, this guy is from Australia. He has a t-shirt that says Australia, so yes, we know he's a tourist. And <laughs> yeah, there you go, I can see the birds now. In fact, you know what? Let me show you- no, wait, I might accidentally show some graphics stuff, so yeah, there's already graphic stuff um, over here. Um, there is dead bodies right now, and I can see them chopping up, chopping their bodies off now. There you go. Why is the music so like that? Okay, so visually, I can say that the birds are currently on the hillside, sitting alongside with the people, playing instruments on the side. So um, we can actually say that the vultures are already oh, like this is a thing. Like they, the vultures know what's happening, and now they are slowly walking down into the main spot as to you know where the burial burial is about to take place. Like, no, seriously, like, these birds are oh. calm, and there is dead bodies, yes. There is dead uh huh. Look, I'm okay with the stuff and all, but there's a dead kid. There's a dead, uh, like, 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 ah, uh, fuck, like, a dead kid, like, I don't like that, like, I don't like youngins dying that early in their age like what the fuck like they would have been able they, they never experienced life to its fullest and that's uh, that's one thing i will say it's fucked up i wonder how that kid died like he, was he, okay anyways right now um the birds are piling up on one body and i cannot see the body anymore because there's so many birds there is one guy in the there is one live guy in the middle but the vultures aren't going for him, so yeah, the, they, the vultures know which one to pick. There is so many birds, but I'm afraid to show you the video because they the camera might just quickly get a glimpse of a dead guy and that might be too much, so I cannot show that. And there is someone sitting down beside the birds, um, just, you hear that, like, uh, something like that, and playing like... You know that, um, like, um, like a pan and stuff made of wood with little bits or two bits on the side, and then he's just rotating it to make that sound good. Yeah, so right now the video is just showing, uh, just zooming in to the faces of birds. And now we have a scout! 
but there's still some pieces of dead meat in it, so... Um, I'm not sure. Okay, um, there is no more eyes in that guy. He's... The skeleton, like, it's, I'm looking at a skeleton, so there's... Okay, there you go. Um... One peop uh, one one person came down to help the vultures, and he's cutting out the remaining parts of the meat, and then giving it, um, you know, um, the bits to the birds to make it easier for them to eat, because there's still rem there's still some meat, um, remaining in the bones, and okay, so now the video is zooming out and showing the birds flying away into the mountains, and the music starts playing. <laughs> this guy has a Facebook and a goddamn Twitter, but yeah. Okay then, well, that's my reaction to, like, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to show the video, but for reasonable purpose, I cannot show it. But I have to say, um, with their way of doing it, um, yeah, um, I respect their culture and how they, how they do it with, uh, this way, their form of burial this way. I say that it also um, helps the ecosystem because you are recycling. Technically, you are recycling yourself into the ecosystem. It helps. Um, it helps the new generations of birds, and it doesn't occupy any space at all. In fact, from the in fact, the only place that it occupies um, was like that. Um, how to say this? Um, it's just like the only place that's occupied there was just like a ground with fences around it, and that's it. That's the only thing that it occupies. The reason why it's you know the fences is over there with the ground as as well as you know you know to that's the preparation area that's it. But yeah, um, anyways, um, that's my reaction to Sky Burial, and I have to say, um, the way how they picked it, it is absolutely interesting, and I wonder what the tr uh, I wonder what how the culture goes does with it. But the only thing that I hated in this was a dead was the dead kid, like I don't know how he died. Either through either he died um sick or he, there was an accident, or he died naturally. Um, I'm not sure what would have um caused it, but that's the only thing I hate seeing. Um, when it comes to like this types of stuff that I'm, uh, when it comes to this type of stuff, I hate seeing dead kids. I really am not into that stuff because just knowing the fact that a like just a young, a young a youngin never was able to experience life. Um, through its fullest, just it, it. I will say it pisses me off. And you know, knowing what the real world is going on around us right now, it makes me more pissed off. Especially with what's going on around some parts of the world that is current. There's wars going on right now, and freaking. And the fact is, they are even freaking. Don't even care if you are, you know, if you are against them and all that stuff. Okay, I'm talking about ISIS, basically. There is kids being killed on ISIS right now. And the thought of that, like, those are, they're just freaking kids. And what are you, like, they don't have, you don't have the right to do fucking that. Like, uh, God damn it. Like, okay. But anyways, I'm sorry that this might be a little, um, graphic, even just by hearing it. Just knowing that idea, just going, just spurling around, but, but you know, um, that's the culture that they took, their method of their their method of burying their dead, and I respect it because it it is it is I have to say it is healthy for the ecosystem the way how they do it. There wasn't any um, ill will um from the looks of that, so yes, it was literally you know they're literally just doing it for the purpose of recycling it. Now, anyways, um, so what do I think about um my form of burial for for me whenever I die? Um, well, I don't know. Like, <laughs> in fact, there was one time when I'm thinking of actually going to Tibet to, like, if I, if 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 ever I die, I wanna write in my will to send me to Tibet and do the sky burial on me. Unfortunately, the only th the reason why I don't wanna do that is because. It's not that the location, like, I don't belong in that location. Um, you are burying me in an alien, in a, not in a, uh, in a alien environment. And I don't think that works when it comes to spirit, spiritual wise. So, 
I'm thinking of just, I guess, in, what do you call that thing? Um, you know, just turning into ashes. I guess I'm okay with that, but it still occupies some space, so, I don't know, maybe just keep my urn in the house as a decoration or something, I'm okay with that. Or, you know, better yet, how about just, as soon as I'm done, as soon as I'm ashes and stuff, how about just divide my ashes um, on places, like, Throw me in, throw half of my ashes into some mountain somewhere in America or something, and then throw half of my ashes into the Philippines and just spread it around or something. But not in someone's face, that would be disgusting. Hell nah. But yes, um, I guess that if, I guess that's my, I guess, last will, um, to, as to how my body is to be used. I really don't want to occupy a space. Because that space can be used for something else on some pe- Oh, you know, can be used for- It can be someone's, um, lot or someone's location, but I really don't like, um... I really don't like occupying spaces, especially when I'm already dead. Would- I would like to be recycled, basically, um, if it, if it comes that way. But anyways, um, hopefully you guys, you know, um, enjoy and hopefully you guys, um, respect, um, each and everyone's, you know, um, beliefs, except if it literally- um, invades human rights. This, um, the way Sky Burial does it, it does, it, uh, from the looks of it, it didn't, sh um, invade any human rights from the looks of that, because, um, the way how everyone died here is all naturally. They died naturally or through an accident, and obviously there has to be some crimes and something like that, but never for the purpose of Sky Burial. That's the, that's one thing you need to remember. That what Sky Burial itself on its own never invades on anyone in any hum, human um it, it didn't do it for the purpose of okay whatever I, you know what I'm trying to say then they did not invade any human rights those who were being buried on the sky died either naturally accidentally or for of criminal purposes and stuff like that but never for the purpose of Sky Burial. Okay then guys, hopefully you enjoy, and until then, um, thanks for watching.